Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another first impression. I did have a request to do this so I thought I would try it out for you guys while it's still new and it's on the John Frieda Root Blur Colour Blending Concealer. So this is another one of them Root Touch Up um, products. If you haven't seen my one on the L'Oreal Magic Retouch Spray, I'll put a link down below and up and above if you want to go and check that out. It's definitely really interesting but I thought this time I would try a powder version. There is loads of these on the market at the moment. They're absolutely everywhere in the drugstore and a lot of them are on offer at the moment. So I'm just going to give you a rundown on the product first. So the price of this, I actually got this from Boots. I'm just going to look onto my phone because I have the website up. So I got this on offer for $9.99, but it's usually $14.99. So for me, that's quite expensive for a root um, touch-up product. Um, considering how much you pay for a hair colour as well, if you want to touch up your roots anyway. And compared to the L'Oreal Magic Retouch, that spray one is a lot more affordable than this powder one. But generally, when I was looking in boots, a lot of the powder versions were about £10 and upwards. So this comes in four colours. Um, so there's platinum to soft gold, honey to caramel, amber to maple and chestnut to espresso. So I got the chestnut to espresso and it says it's for medium to dark brunette hair. So unfortunately this doesn't come in anything darker or a black version which is a shame. Um, my hair is pretty dark anyway so we'll see how this fares. I'm just going to read to you what it says on the packaging. It just says blends away roots instantly for flawless colour. Um, and then what does it say on the back? Erase roots instantly, blend away root regrowth with a single stroke. The dual shade palette of our colour blending concealer gives you the freedom to customise your shade and to conceal your roots so you can blend to perfection. So the packaging looks um, really nice, it looks expensive and I should think so too for the price. And it comes in this box, obviously. So I'm going to open the packaging. Oh, on the back as well, it's got a diagram um, before, after. And then let's open up the box. So it comes in this compact. Um, it's pretty big, actually, this compact. So on the front, the picture makes it look like the powder is all through the compact. So it fills the compact up, if you see what I mean. Um, but let's have a look. Okay, so it is actually not that big in the compact. So actually it's a little bit of a con really because you're only getting a small amount. But I suppose you only need a small amount if you're just touching this area of your roots. Um, it comes with a brush obviously because that's how you apply it. The brush is pretty soft, it's angled. Um, and I like the fact actually that it is in a compact because it's got a mirror as well so you could take this with you for travel or on the go touch ups. Okay guys so I've just zoomed you in so that's why I'm at a sort of funny angle it's just so you can see my root application when I do this. Obviously I have roots again I wasn't going to try this out until i would got a bit of rootage again so we could test it out fairly. So on the box it says start with dry styled hair, blend colours together in the palette or apply one colour at a time, dab directly onto, sorry, into strands near the roots, avoid the scalp if blending colours to achieve your ideal shade, start with the lighter shade and cover roots completely, then sparingly use the darker shade to match your tone. Apply to temples and other grey areas as needed. Colour stays fresh until the next wash. So I think I'm going to blend the colours. So it says to start with the lighter colour. Okay, so the powders are really pigmented and are slightly shimmery. I'll put a photo in so you can see that. So I'm going to start off with this colour here and then go on to the darker colour. 
Okay, the one difference comparing this to the spray is the spray takes literally seconds to do, whereas this is going to take a little bit of time to cover the whole area of my parting. So now I'm going to go in with the dark shade. So the dark shade is definitely covering better on my coloured hair. It's kind of hard to not get it in the scalp area. So guys, I think I'm going to go and do the rest of this in the bathroom because it is getting a little bit messy with the powder and I don't want it to get everywhere. And also I'm kind of getting it on my scalp area as well because I can't see properly because I want you guys to see because of the angle of the camera. But it is covering quite well so I'm just going to go and do that and then I'll show you a before and after photo. Okay, so I've just finished touching up my roots and I'm just going to give you sort of my initial thoughts on this product so far. So first of all, the powders are really pigmented. I would say as well, if you have a dark brown um, to black hair, I would use the darker shade and not bother even mixing the shades. So just use this darker shade only. I would advise doing it in a bathroom with a towel over yourself if you have got your clothes on already. Just because it is a bit messy, the powders kind of are really pigmented obviously, so they do sort of drop and because of the pigmentation they may get on your clays and things like that. With regards to comparing this to the spray version, I would say this takes a lot longer. Um, this took me about 10 to 12 minutes really to sort of really get in there and even then I don't think I've got or covered everywhere and it's kind of hard to not get in the scalp either so you would really need to take your time when applying this product so allow some time in the morning or whenever you need to apply it. Um, the colour is great, it has covered which is really good. But again, with regards to the powder, it's really hard to sort of see at the back of my head. You'd almost need to get someone else to do it because I don't think I've properly covered this area right here. But I'll insert a before and after photo so you can see. So the time is now 1.46. So I will check back in a couple of hours and see how this has worn. See you in a bit, guys. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back. It's now six minutes past seven and so far so good. It still looks the same um, and I actually love the coverage of this one. It looks really nice and natural. I did ask Ben again um, if he could notice anything and he said he couldn't notice a difference so that was a good thing that he didn't noticed that I had put makeup on my roots to cover them up. Um, the only thing I would say was I did put a little bit around my hairline and just be aware of that if you're using a darker colour as it can sort of come down and smudge around your hairline look like sort of like a black shadow mark and also like I said this does come off I'll just show you onto your fingertips um, depending on how much you put on. It's very faint I'd say it's not as bad as the spray one but just be aware of this and I wonder what it would be like if it happened to rain and you didn't have a hood or an umbrella whether it would run or not. Um, but anyway apart from that it's really good so so far so good so I'll check back in with you one more time and I'll just share with you my final thoughts and also a score out of five. See you later guys, bye. 
Hey guys, welcome back for the last time. It is now 28 minutes past 11, and as you can see, I'm definitely ready for bed now. So I just wanted to give you my overall thoughts on this John Frieda Root Blur um, Root Coverage product. So with regards to longevity, it's still as good as when I put it on. And like I said before, I really do like the coverage of this one. I thought it gave good coverage. So I'll just go through the pros and then the cons and then I'll score it out of five. So the pros obviously love the coverage, longevity is great and also the colour is a really good match. Sometimes it comes off a little bit different on camera and in photo but in person it really is a lovely match. It looks like I never had roots in the first place. I do love the compact of this so that you can take it with you for on the go touch ups. I think that's a really nice idea. Um, whereas the spray is a little bit more sort of inconvenient to take with you. It would be a bit weird kind of doing that in a public bathroom, but with this you've got a mirror so you could just do it in a loo quickly or something like that. Um, the cons for me, the price, I think it's really expensive for a root touch up product, um, $14.99 is quite a hefty price so if you want to sort of check this out I recommend getting it now while it is on offer in Boots, I'm not sure if it's on offer in Superdrug but I'll pop the link down below if it is. Um, the colour range is really good but it's a shame they don't do one for really black hair so I'd be interested to see if this dark is one the X chestnut to espresso does work on black hair um, or maybe that's something that they'll develop in the future also with regards to the packaging um, I think this is a tiny amount for the price I'm not sure how long this will last um, so I'll give you an update if I do end up using all of it up it'll probably be in a product empties video so comparing it to the spray with regards to um, speed it does take a lot longer to do but I think you can be more precise with this because of the brush just be careful not to get it in your scalp like I did it is a bit difficult to sort of see and when I said about the back, I did find it hard to cover it and I don't even know really if I did cover it well. So that is a bit more difficult to do. But overall, this was a good product. These products in general, I don't think these are something that I would use on a regular basis every time I got roots. I would much prefer to dye my hair and not worry about touching this area up with powders or spray and it may be sort of running or something like that. So overall I would score the John Frieda Root Blur a 4 out of 5. These are great products just to have in an emergency if you don't have time to touch up your root colour. And I'm glad I've tried out a spray and powder so you guys can see as well the comparison. So definitely go and check out the spray one if you haven't seen that. That's the L'Oreal Magic Retouch. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did and also don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Snapchat. And if you missed my last two previous videos, you can go ahead and click on the picture links and that will take you to that video. Have a wonderful weekend guys and I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye!